Hi everybody, welcome to Gaga Joy's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to do two pizzas and they're very different. One of them is a dessert pizza and the other one is a refrigerator pizza. They're both delicious and they're very easy to make and very quick to make. For my dessert pizza, it's very simple. I use the crescent rolls, can of cherry, or you can use blueberry or strawberry, and just glaze it a little bit. I'm gonna use powdered sugar with a little bit of water. Uh, right now, I've got my oven on 375, and I'm gonna put my pie crust in my pan now. I guess you could use pizza dough, but I tell you, when you work with crescent rolls, it's so hard to go back to something like that. Because crescent rolls are so easy. I like the new kind of crescent rolls. You don't have to, all those little crescents. They roll it out like uh, just a flat sheet. And you don't have to try to join all those little crescents. So this works out really well. Besides, who doesn't like crescent? crescent rolls. And little things like this are a great way to have a little dessert after your pizza. And they're so, you can see how easy it is to make. Put it on a 375 oven. Now I'll have to, uh, I don't add anything except the crust until the crust is ready. And then when I take it out of the oven, then that's when we'll add our cherries. And you see how well they, ju they just blend right in. Make it look pretty around here and then into the oven it goes. Okay, into the oven it goes at 375. Now, our next one is a vegetable pizza. You, there's no cooking to this one either, except the just putting it in the oven and doing the crust. Both of the crusts have to be cooked before you put the toppings on. We love the vegetable pizzas because I like to take them to church. You can take them to any party. They don't get cold because they're from the refrigerator with all the vegetables on them. This, if I take one of these to a church or an outing, you never have anything to bring back. They're, they go first. There's one of those things that everybody looks for you to bring and they know how good it is. And the good thing is that you can use any vegetables, your favorite vegetables. You can use the vegetables that are in from your garden, if you have a garden, which would be a delight. But basically, you just use vegetables from, I go to Walmart, so <laughs> if Walmart vegetables. Well, I've got to open two for this one. Sometimes if you have one of those great or big pizza pans, you really have to go for three. But this one's usually perfect for it too.
Now when you get your pizza loaded, and like you want it in your pan, be sure and go around and put as many little holes as you can or it'll just double. Well, now I've got through with this one, and uh, we'll start putting the vegetables on it. I'm gonna get the, the dessert pizza out and we'll finish that up first. Okay, we're ready to take our dessert pizza crust out. And at the same time, we're gonna put our refrigerator pizza crust in. It's a good stuff. Well, now we're to, I, I chose cherries today for the dessert pizza. Like I said, you can pick blueberries, strawberries. I imagine you could even peaches, anything like that. Because basically it's just three ingredients. And the uh, crescent rolls just make it so delicious and crispy. You could eat them without anything. <laughs> And it's always plenty of candy is for this size pizza. And if you have any left over, you just put saran wrap around it. Well, I prefer the, the seal wrap around it. Save it for the next day. Then maybe put ice cream on it the next day. Hey, we can work in two days. I'll tell you something, if you're going to take this somewhere and uh, like in an hour or two, you might want to let it cool, the, the crust cool and then put these on it. That way your crust will stay crisper longer. Now I'm going to make a glaze to put on top of the pizza. It's just, all it is is powdered sugar and a little bit of water. That's it. Now we're mixing the powder, put the powdered sugar in a little bowl. And I'll start off with two, with a tablespoon of water. See how much more we need. Maybe a half a teaspoon. I don't think we need all of it. I think we got it. Well, I'm gonna take the baggie and I'm gonna put the glaze that we had mixed and we'll put it in here. Okay, I'm gonna cut the, just a little tiny piece off of this baggie. And then we're just gonna go around and squeeze. I 
I was never born to be a talented painter. I could barely make a circle. So I think most of us are in that category. So we'll pretend. That way we'll have plenty of topping. I think that'll carry us through, don't you? I'm gonna set this aside now, and we're gonna work on the vegetable pizza. Well, there's our pizza crust for a vegetable pizza. Well, I've already taken the uh, pizza uh, uh, dough out of the oven, it's baked, and now we're gonna put the topping in, on it. And the topping is a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise, uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, and one package of the uh, zesty Italian. And, and you mix it up, and it actually needs to set a, about a couple hours to make it real uh, good. And so I'm gonna put that on here. This will be our base. And you know, it's, it's very easy to um, spread out. That's what's the goodness of it is the, <laughs> the bottom of it. I ate one one time that was a ranch. I, uh, they put the ranch spices in it. It was very good too. I just particularly do like the uh, Italian. But everybody's different. I'm just thankful, I love both of those things when I buy them is the Italian and the ranch. And anytime you have problems, you know, you can just write me a note and I'll get to you because I get to you pretty fast. And I, I would want to do that. I, I tell you, if you take this to a, if you take this anywhere, please let me tell Write and tell me how everybody loved it. I would love to hear your opinion about that. If I take it to a party, everybody say, well, I know who brought this, George brought this. So, yeah, you'll soon be known as the person who brought the vegetable pizza. And I do find this um, secret seasoning over there where the uh, regular seasonings are, where the vinegar, I, I buy all my things at Walmart on, unless I go to Kroger sometimes. And I get all my things there. I just like Walmart. Cause it's easier for me to go there. Now we're going to put lettuce on the front, like as the front layer, and I, I, I like to pick pretty colorful lettuce, and also like my ice my ice, iceberg lettuce too, but these are just wonderful lettuce. These were pre-washed and don't they look, don't that uh, purple lettuce look pretty?
Now remember, you can put any lettuce you like. I, I, iceberg lettuce is excellent on this. I just thought this was, pretty, was so pretty, I wanted to use it tonight. Next I just pick up some tomatoes, a little cucumber, you know I made this in a round pan today but you really can make it in a square pan and it cut it in square pieces. It, that, that works very well. Let's see, I'd like to put a little bit of color in it. A little more. And you can put any kind of vegetables you want on it. Put you some radishes. I always love to put radishes. Um, big pieces of cucumber. I only have one cucumber today, so I didn't have a lot of cucumber. Let's get us some orange in there. Now let's put her, I just used the little new onions. I think the tops are so pretty and they're not strong. It's just a real good touch to put those on. You do not have to add salt and pepper to this because the, the uh, dressing is very well salted. So this is one of those things that don't need any more salt and pepper. Now our next one and the part is the cheese. We always grate our cheese because we know we've got good cheese. Now this is Colby and Jack. You can use stronger cheese, you can use sharp cheddar, any kind of cheese you like. We do like Colby and uh, Jack cheese. I like pepper cheese too. But this is good. Now you see what a beautiful, beautiful pizza that is. You would be proud to take it anywhere. I can't wait to try the pizza after I made it. This has been a long day and it's, I know what they're like and I'm telling you. After you make something, it's very hard not to eat it. See how beautifully that comes out. I like to hold my pizza up and eat it. Mm. 
<laughs> it's delicious, of course. There's not a thing in there that couldn't be delicious. That onion's wonderful. Let's try the cherry. And the crust is so crispy that you can hear it. I think I'll just stand here and eat the cherry pizza first. That's my favorite thing anyway. But I won't. It's delicious. Can't talk with a mouthful. It's been a good day. And I hope you're going to enjoy the pizzas. And I hope you've had a good day with us. And please share and go down and like and share and submit. Ring the bell. And remember, you know, we can bring joy to someone's life every day by just being kind. So remember the joy. See you next time.